What's up, everybody? Derek here. Welcome to the dungeon. We're going to make a quick update for the uh, PT2399. Got this all laid out on the circuit board now. And uh, over here is an LM386. Um, I think that's a uh, half watt amplifier. As the signal that goes through, I probably explained this before, but the signal that goes through um, is weak. The, the, out, the output signal is weak, so I run it through this and uh, boost it up quite considerably. As you can see, uh, <clears throat> I have a little bit of a different setup here. I'll show you in a second, but uh, <laughs> just running it through a little 8 ohm speaker here. I believe this is only 8 ohms. Yep, yeah, 8 ohm speaker. Pretty cool. Just have this going on right now. Nah, don't mind the phone. That kind of adds to it. <laughs> but uh, I also have here laid on the breadboard a little bit. I was testing out this microphone that I have here. Um, there's a much larger uh, project kind of going on with the mixer. Um, Sparky's helping me put it put a simple uh, mixer together. And this is uh, one of the parts that I'll be trying out. Uh, this is just a really standard you know, microphone, nothing fancy. Really small, I kind of found it. So I have it worked out into the uh, the breadboard here with a couple of the components, just a resistor and a capacitor and uh, the input voltage to uh, power this up. And then I basically have that feeding through this. And uh, I could just, uh, oops, hope I didn't fuck it up too much. It's really sensitive, so i got to be careful. But I can put this on dry and just use this as a, uh, a signal booster if I want to. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've just been doing some FX. You know, using using the this here, you know, going through the delay as a effects basically. One, two, three. Yeah, you can make it really tinny. The uh, basically a fake reverb, the digital reverb, quote unquote. Yeah, robot. I am a robot. But as you can see, I have to get really close to the microphone. I could probably do this. Make it a little better. Yeah. Turn it up just a little bit. Maybe I'm about half and half. Yeah. That's pretty good, too. A little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. Turned up all the way. Yeah! That's pretty fun. <laughs> now you can turn it all the way down. And when this is in a, a proper um, container, then you can you can basically tweak it going from the uh, the digital uh, reverb, quote unquote. I say that it's not true reverb, and then uh, you can crank it up all the way, and you get some really interesting effects. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I, I can try to do that. Yeah, that's pretty fun though. I like doing that. But all in all, it's a pretty fun circuit. I like it. Um, as far as the mixer concern, mixer is concerned, I need to get some more um, LM386s or you know something similar, some uh, simple amplifiers basically, because <clears throat> that's the only one I have. I actually got that one off a of board, and I don't really have anything else. I have another thing that I could use. It's uh, basically an amplifier for um, a set of headphones. I might pull that off and use that for something as well, but you know, be planning out the mixer and whatnot. And I still got that to try over here, this 10-step uh, sequencer, 10-step sequencer, and you can hear it, but yeah, it's really sensitive. It'll it'll pick up, you know, um, you know, emails or when my internet's on on the phone, it'll pick that up quite well. I don't know if it'll do it now. 
No, it only does it when it wants to. But yeah. Just wanted to show that to you really quick. My, uh, my custom breadboard um, laboratory, basically, that I got here. So I got some more work to do in there. But yeah, just a quick video, just to show you guys. So, if you guys uh, found it interesting, and if you like it, you know, you can build one of your own. These are really, really dirt cheap. You can, yeah, I got 10 of these from uh, Good Old England um, for, uh, I think it was uh, 2 euros for 10 of them. You know, normally these things these uh, these things sell pretty uh, pretty expensive on on eBay or Amazon, from what I've seen. And if I get good enough to do this, and I can um, you know, etch my own circuit boards and whatnot, then you know maybe I can make a couple prototypes and see if I can sling them on eBay. See if anybody will pick them up. You know, uh, I like doing the work that I do, but I can't do it forever. And I'm getting older, and I figure when I get my uh, I finish my apprenticeship and have my uh, uh, electrician certificate I can probably do a whole hell of a lot so maybe I can open up my own online shop who knows be cool yeah did you guys enjoyed it um, yeah hope everybody's well see <laughs> very sensitive damn near interrupted me and uh, take care everybody so Goodbye.